Right. Well, just two hours ago, Omaha Mayor Gene Stother led a news conference from city and county agencies announcing plans to respond to the storm. Mayor encouraging employers to keep employees home if possible, or at least stagger schedules to minimize traffic. City snow emergency begins at midnight. Part of a snow emergency means on streets east of 72nd, you can only park on the side with even number addresses since Tuesday is the 2nd of February. Then move to the odd side on Wednesday the 3rd. Response to the storm involves multiple agencies. Air Murray has more on that. Now we're just monitoring the incoming weather. Inside emergency management facilities Monday, it's quite literally the calm before the storm. Each one of these is a, uh, a functional location so that uh, the person that sits here and mans this desk uh, then would able, be able to receive the calls coming in to that point of contact. The Douglas County facility says snowstorms don't require as much manpower, but they will be ready to pass along information and resource coordination as needed. Well, it's going to be continuous use of uh, snow plows, and um, this is really a very intensive event for us. The same goes for Sarpy County. We have a variety of radios. One of the main things they're going over are resources agencies might need when the snow hits. Four-wheel drives, ATVs and stuff, we do have some of those resources, of course. It's really hard to find an agency in the metro not getting ready. This is our Omaha one. It's ready to go for a home fire. The American Red Cross, which is always ready when weather threatens safety, says today after getting the trucks ready, they're also sending out cots to several organizations that need them. These cots, stored in the white boxes, are going to Epley Airfield. So for travelers who get stranded here because of the weather, they won't have to sleep in these chairs or on the floor. But right now, things go along as normal. Just a continual eye on the monitors, everyone saving their energy for the busy 24 to 48 hours that lies ahead. With photographer M.H. Denker, Aaron Murray, WOWT, 6 News. And this is shaping up to be the kind of storm you don't want to fool around with. And many scheduled events are being canceled, even the Nebraska legislature shutting down Tuesday. And trash service likely affected all week. In fact, Council Bluffs has already announced trucks will not be going out at all on Tuesday. Some important and critical reminders. Keep in touch with the elderly, especially those living alone, and be sure to bring pets inside. Do yourself, your neighbors, and snowplow operators a favor and remove cars from the streets the best you can. And pay heed to snow emergencies if they are declared in your community. And another thing to think about, make sure your battery sticks are recharged in the event that you're stranded or lose power. Be sure to download the WWT 6 News app to your smartphone or tablet. You can follow the progress of the storm on live radar. And you can check on the latest closings and cancellations on air on WWT.com and also on our news app. And